And tonight we continue looking out for our most vulnerable student populations impacted by COVID-19. A group of parents and educators recently reached out to KRDO concerned that special education students in one particular district are slipping through the cracks, an issue we first highlighted a week ago. KRDO News Channel 13's Lauren Barnes is live in Academy District 20 tonight looking into how the district has overcome a massive special ed staffing shortage and what kind of oversight there is at the state level. Lauren. Academy School District 20 began this year with just two special education staff members for the entire K through 8 online learning program. That's less than one fourth of what's considered fully staffed. The Colorado Department of Education acknowledges a special education staffing shortage was made worse by COVID-19. I think that the pandemic has probably exacerbated those shortages. District 20's K-8 online program includes 180 special education students. Nine special ed staff are needed to carry the caseload. We are now fully staffed, but the first few weeks of school we were still having to staff some of those 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 positions. So some of our families may have experienced what they felt wasn't a quick enough uh, you know, transition for their student. Luckily, in this case, the void was filled quickly, but it's likely a problem other districts and special needs families are feeling too. The state of Colorado, however, has no hand in staffing requirements. And in Colorado, we don't have any mandated ratios, so there's nothing that says you have to have, you know, a teacher or a special service provider per number of students. Do you think there should be? You know, that the State Board of Education really sets our policy, um, and that would really be something that they would, you know, need to you know, take up. There's added concern that schools are not meeting special ed students' individualized education programs, also known as IEPs. Each IEP requires a unique amount of service hours for each student. The plan and hours must be met per federal law. Definitely, you know, concern about the implementation of student IEPs in the current setting we're in. We are confident that those hours are, are either being met or going to be met. If we had some folks that fell a little behind, we will get them caught up. The Colorado Department of Education does not provide oversight for IEP compliance. It encourages communication between families and schools. If students don't show progress as required, districts could be forced to provide additional help. But here's the catch. The state tells me that most schools are doing all they can right now and simply don't have the resources to give. Live in Colorado Springs, Lauren Barnes, KRDO News Channel 13.